Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are making some stirred fried rice. This is a simple rice uh, or a simple way to make rice. The reason we're making it this way is when you want to make something different, right? You have leftover white rice. In this case, I didn't have leftover white rice, but I did make a pot of white rice. Just make sure that when you make your rice, do not add much salt to it because we are using soy sauce. The ingredients we're going to use are cooked white rice. We are using some a little bit of sesame oil. We are using, I have a mixture of red and yellow peppers. I've got diced white onion. I have some turkey kielbasa. I have a little bit of broccoli. I have a little bit of uh, carrots. We have some scallions that are chopped. We also have some um, corn, some minced garlic. We are using some shrimp on this one. Um, aside from that, we're using just spices, uh, sesame oil, a little bit of a, a little bit of uh, black pepper, blah, say blah. So we're going to go ahead and get started. My wok is heating up. And we are going to, number one, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, extra light tasting olive oil. Oh, one other ingredient that I forgot to mention. We are using scrambled eggs. So a little bit of that. And what we're going to start doing is that we're going to let that heat up really quickly. And as it's heating up, you make sure that your shrimp are deveined. Make sure that your shrimp are clean. And you take all the, the shell out of them. Um, pretty much. And uh, aside from that, you know, that's all we're doing with this. So anyways, what we're going to do now as the oil is nicely hot. You see, I am adding um, some of the um, the other oil, but not yet. Because I want that other oil more for flavor than for anything else. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take our shrimp. Um, and we are going to add our shrimp first because that's what needs to be cooked. We're going to allow that to start cooking. One more shrimp. We're going to allow this to start cooking. When it starts turning pink, that's when I'm going to start adding other ingredients. So, this goes pretty fast because shrimp cooks fairly fast. Now, if you wanted to do this and add chicken to it, you will add the chicken first. Because you need the chicken taste a little longer to cook than the shrimp. So, we're going to allow this to cook for a little while. While, while we're watching this, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You will help me out a lot. I'm going to just uh, quickly, look, I am I am not uh, a pro at making videos. This is just me with my my little camera or just with my phone doing what I can here. Um, you know, people may put little comments or you could say anything. But right now, this is what I got to work with. I, I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I have the kitchen the size of uh my kitchen is so small that i think only two people could fit in here at a time um so i work with what i have um and that's it so while this is cooking what we're going to do we are going to add the um the the onions only because the onions are going to actually flavor the shrimp you can tell already that the shrimp are nicely getting nice and pink. We're going to allow the shrimp to cook in here for a few, a little bit. I'm also going to add my carrots because the carrots will take a little longer to cook. So we're going to allow this to start cooking for a little bit. So as you can tell, my shrimp are nicely pink. They're still not all the way cooked, but we also still have a little bit more to go. So we're going to add our kielbasa now. Everything, I want all these beautiful flavors to get to know each other. 
we're gonna add a little bit of my and we're gonna add all of our peppers because I'm gonna make another rice for my daughter but she doesn't like peppers so we added our peppers in here we're going to add our corn I usually use frozen this time I didn't have any frozen so we're using a uh, uh, canned corn so we're gonna allow this to cook for a little bit and we're gonna keep an eye on it we're also going to add minced garlic there it's up to you whether you like a lot of garlic or not to me garlic is life so so to me right now we're just adding this normally here i would add chicken also but no chicken today today we're doing uh shrimp fried rice So we're going to allow this to cook just a little bit longer before we add the next ingredient. So now I'm going to add my broccoli. I'm not adding a lot of broccoli and I could have torn it a little bit smaller to make the pieces a little smaller. Let me try to chop it. Um, you don't have to keep the pieces this big. But that's what we're doing. So I'm going to get my rice. I'm going to let this cook for about a minute, minute and a half. And I'm going to start adding my spices. So at this point, we're going to add some frozen peas. We're going to add rice. We're going to add more than that. I'm just taking it out a little bit at a time. So we're going to add our rice. So we're adding enough rice because it's a lot and we're making a lot here. So we're adding about, I don't know, a couple of cups of flour, a couple, maybe three, four. So we are adding our rice and we're going to start giving that a little, a little spin, a little turn. We're just going to go ahead and. We're gonna go ahead and take this right now and grab our spoon and start giving it a little turn. Just getting everything nicely coated. Okay. You could tell automatically, oh, it looks so good. See, it's still a little bit, it's white because I haven't added anything to it. No soy sauce, no nothing yet. Now we are going to add black pepper. It's up to you whether you like a lot of black pepper or not. You could do freshly cracked or you can do just like this. We're also going to add to it I must drop my phone here. A little bit of comino. A little bit of cumin. Just because I like cumin, okay? That's a preference thing. We're going to add just a tiny touch more of garlic. Now we're going to add to this just a little bit of the, the sesame oil. Don't overdo it because sesame oil tends to overpower everything. We don't want it to overpower nothing. So we're going to go ahead and keep stirring. Now, in this case, you can use either low-sodium soy sauce. Let's lower the temp here because I don't want. You could use low-sodium or not. Now, I'm also going to be using something called browning sauce. Um, 
browning sauce only because I think it gives it it helps with the color okay so we just added a little capful if you don't have it don't worry about it it's not like you need it it's just to me it gives it a color that I like okay so as this is 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 turning and doing all that fun stuff before we even add the eggs I'm gonna start by adding my soy sauce um, I'm going to actually add my soy sauce to another container and I'm going to go ahead and start adding it in tablespoons and we stir it. Come on, this looks amazing. Oh, smells heavenly. Heaven, I'm in heaven. So all you're going to do is bring the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. Make sure all your rice is well seasoned. I want to grab, sorry for the mess, grab something so I could taste It still needs more soy sauce. Like I said, I added no salt. No salt to this dish. So anyways, the soy sauce, you're going to add it to your liking. You might want a little bit more. You might want a little bit less. That's up to you. It looks so good. Now, I'm going to be making some fish that I bought uh, pre-made, you know, pre-packaged. Um, I just added a little bit of scallion, and I'm going to add a little bit of my, my scrambled egg. A little bit of the scrambled eggs. And we we give it a, a little turn. And just because I will need to taste this in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now let these flavors get to know each other there for a moment before we adjust flavoring. Okay. So now we are pretty much done. We're going to add some cilantro. A couple of more scallions give it another little spin and that my people is your fried rice next we eat so there you have it this is my fried rice with fish that I cooked in the oven it's a bread of fish that I bought already breaded and I drizzled with a little bit of honey Better yet is a mixture of honey and agave topped with a little bit of broccoli. The sauces in the bottom are simple, a red pepper sauce. And uh, I took a little bit of, uh, what is it, sour cream and just spiced it up a little bit. And that's all that's in here. So this is my shrimp fried rice. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Thanks for spending time with me here in my kitchen. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. God bless you. Bye.